come with hearts of thanksgiving. We come with hearts of praise. We come with hearts of adoration. And we bless you, Lord. As we sit and as we just listen, we just, when you just look at over our lives, we can just see how God has, in spite of the things we've been through, how God has tremendously blessed us all. Mm -hmm. That we are still in the land of the living. Yes. Amen. Yes. That we're still in our Amen. right minds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That we're still functioning. Many people are not here, but we're still here. And it's because God has a plan and a purpose for all of our lives. For those that are watching, know that God has a plan and a purpose for your life. So Father, we come tonight with hearts of thanksgiving. We thank you, Lord, for the power of prayer. We thank you that we serve a God that we can talk to 24 seven, seven days a week, Lord. That you never put us on hold. You never not pick up our call. You're always there for us and we thank you tonight, Father. And Lord, we just thank you tonight for, for allowing us to be here on another first Saturday, December, I'm sorry, November 5th, Lord. Grace today, Father God. We thank you for your supernatural grace. We thank you how you've carried us through this year thus far, through challenges, through disappointments, through loss, we're still here. So we thank you, Lord, for the power of prayer. We thank you, Lord, for our family, our friends, our loved ones, oh God. We thank you for those that you've assigned to our lives tonight, and we're grateful, Lord. We take nothing and no one for granted. So, Father, as we come tonight to pray, you, your word declares that your house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations. And, Father, I just believe that you're calling us as a body, you're calling us as the body of Christ globally to, to stay before you in prayer, to, to continue, continuously talk to you, and to allow you to talk to us. So, Lord, let us never be too busy where we don't pray, never never let us too busy, let us be too busy where we don't hear your voice. For your word declares my sheep know my voice and the voice of the stranger we won't follow. So Father, as we're on tonight, Father, I release your miracles and wonders and blessings in this room tonight and also throughout the airwaves, Father God, that wherever people tune in, wherever people scroll, Father God, that you would meet them tonight at their point of contact. And if someone is watching tonight that is not saved, Lord, I thank you, Lord, that they can receive you tonight as Lord and Savior of their lives. For your word says in Romans 10, 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thy heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, that thou shalt be saved. We thank you that St. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So, Father, we thank you tonight that we release salvation, deliverance, and wholeness across this nation, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And I pray that if you're watching tonight and you've never asked Jesus Christ into your heart, that you would say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I receive you as Lord and Savior of my life. Teach me your ways and forgive me of all my sins. In Jesus' name. It's just that simple. The Bible says, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So, Father, we thank you for salvation, deliverance, and wholeness in Jesus' name. So, Father, as we come tonight with the agenda of prayer, as we come to release prayer all across this nation, Father God, we pray that those that are watching, if anyone is sick tonight, we want to pray for those that are sick in their body. And a lot of people that I know, some people that are a part of this house are sick. So, Father, we release healing to flow tonight in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you that your word declares in Isaiah 53 and 5 that you were wounded for our transgressions, that you were bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon you, Lord, and by your stripes we are healed. So, Father, I pray for those that are sick tonight. I thank, pray for those that have afflictions. I pray for those that may be low in their spirit. I pray for those that may be battling depression. I pray for those tonight that may be battling loneliness. And, Father God, I pray that you would just come and meet them now. Meet them now in Jesus' name. Let them encounter your, your presence tonight, Father God. Move in their rooms, move on their beds, move in their chairs, move in their homes tonight, Father God. On their jobs, wherever they're listening to this word, we speak healing and strength to flow in your bodies in Jesus' name. We release the healing wonders of God to consume your bodies in Jesus' name. And we bind sickness, we bind disease, we bind infirmity, and we release Jehovah Rophah, the Lord.
Lord that heals in Jesus' name. And Father, those that may be going through depression tonight, we take authority over depression. We take authority over oppression. We bind every suicidal spirit in Jesus' name. And I thank you that your people shall live and not die to declare the works of the Lord. So Father God, I pray that the Holy Spirit of God would just shape them and wake them tonight, Lord, in Jesus' name. Give them the will to live. Give them the will to fight in the name of Jesus. And Father, we bless you tonight. We thank you for the power of prayer. We thank you that we call it, we can call upon your name and that you're the God who answers. And we bless you, Lord. We give you praise tonight. We give you praise. We honor you. We worship you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace tonight in the name of Jesus. We bless your name. We give you glory. Just begin to worship the Lord. Let's just release Hallelujah. worship and praise Amen. here tonight. Hallelujah. Father, we bless you. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Hallelujah. 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 Father, we thank you. We release, Hallelujah. and as you're praying tonight, release your faith. Release your faith. As you're listening tonight, release your faith. God can cause you to stand up tonight. If you haven't been able to walk, God can cause you to stand up. I say take up your bed and walk tonight in Jesus' name. I speak strength to your body where it's weak. I come against the fatigue in your body in Jesus' name. And I say be strengthened and be healed and whole in Jesus' name. To my brothers, to my sisters that are watching in Jesus' name. Miracles of healing. Miracles of strength, miracles of breakthrough, where there's nothing missing and nothing broken, Father God. Give them a testimony through this test. Give them a testimony that they will see and experience the goodness of the Lord in the land of living. We think that there's no limits. There's no boundaries. You are the healer. You're the deliverer. You're the way maker. You're our miracle worker on tonight. And we bless you. We worship you tonight. Let your presence fill their rooms. Let your presence fill their homes. Let your presence fill their cars. Because in your presence there is fullness of joy. And at your right hand there are pleasures forevermore. Let your pleasures fill our minds tonight. If anybody's been weary in your mind, you've been low in your mind, the enemy's been attacking, attacking your mind, wherever you are, just take your right hand and place it on your forehead in Jesus' name. And I speak peace to your mind in Jesus' name. I speak peace to your minds in Jesus' name. Where there's nothing missing and nothing broken. I speak the shalom of God over your souls, your minds, your will, and your emotions in Jesus' name. Father, we bless you. We honor you tonight. We worship you tonight. Lord, continue to cleanse us, wash us, purify us, help us to be all that you desire us to be tonight in Jesus' name. Whatever is in our life that doesn't please you, Lord, we ask that you take it from us, Father God, in Jesus' name. We cast it upon you tonight. We cast that care. We cast that sin. We cast that struggle upon you tonight because you're the Lord that cares for us, Lord. So, Father, we bless you tonight and we give you glory. Holy Spirit, you're welcome here tonight. We come with hearts of thanksgiving and hearts of praise. In the name of Jesus, you're able to move in an instant. You're able to shift in an instant. You're able to answer prayer in an instant. And we bless you tonight, Lord. There's a lot of sickness going on, but we take authority over every spirit of sickness, disease, and infirmity in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We say, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all of our, our iniquities and who heals all of our diseases. So, Father, we come against every disease tonight in Jesus' name. Everything that brings disease to your people, we release healing to flow in their bodies, in their minds, in their souls, in their physical body, in Jesus' name. Heal, deliver, and set free so these people can walk and do your will, Father God. Show yourself mighty and show yourself strong. In the master's name of Jesus. And we worship you tonight. We give you praise tonight. 
We take nothing for granted tonight. In the name of Jesus. Hallowed be your name. Hallelujah. Hallowed be your name. Let your presence fill this room. Let your presence fill wherever your people are tonight. Hallelujah. If you're watching tonight, just lift your hands and just receive whatever you need from God tonight. He's already here. We're praying tonight, not in a building. We are praying under an open heaven. Think about that. The heavens are open. The heavens are open. There's nothing too difficult with our God. There's nothing too hard for our God. We can't say, well, I can't pray about that. It's just too big. God can't handle it. He can handle anything. We pray to an open heaven, to the true and living God. It is he that has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pastor. We enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. We're thankful unto him and we bless his name. Why? Because the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. Hallelujah. Let's give God praise. Hallelujah. Bless your name. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We give you praise tonight. We give you glory. We give you honor. Father God, cause your, your houses, your churches, your ministries to be houses of prayer. Lord, let us come back to the place of prayer. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. The place of prayer. Lord, if we would learn to come to the place of prayer, everything else will be taking place. Everything else will be added unto us. If we seek ye first. The kingdom of God and your righteousness, everything else will be added unto us. Help us, Lord, as your leaders to do yes. things your way. Yes, Amen. You set a pattern. You said, Lord, my house shall be called a house of prayer. Let it not be a house of personalities. Let it not be a house full of famous people. Let it not be a house of anything else but a house of prayer. A, a, a place where you can abide. A, a place where you dwell. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A place where people can come and sit in your presence from all walks of life and you can change it, Lord. Amen. Yes. Help us, Lord, to line our lives up with your will and with your word. Yes, Lord. We bless you, Lord. You can never miss it when you pray. You can never miss it when you talk to God. And we thank you. For, there's benefits with prayer. You said if we ask, it shall be given. Amen. If we seek, that we would find. If we knock, it shall be open unto us. It also declares, and this is the confidence that we have in you, that if we ask anything according to your word, that you hear us. Your ear is not too heavy that it cannot hear. Let us turn in tune into your frequency, Lord. And not just to pray for things and stuff, but to pray and talk to you because we love you. Because our hearts are bent towards you. Hallelujah. And as we pray, things change. As we pray, things shift. As we pray, mountains are moved. As we pray, sick bodies are healed. As we pray, backsliders run back to you. As we pray, the unsaved come call upon your name. Hallelujah. As we pray, sickness and disease dries up. It shrivels up and it dies. As we release our faith. As we release our faith. And I'm going to tell you as leaders, when you pray for people, expect God to move. Amen. Amen. 
Expect God to heal. Expect God to deliver. Expect God to set free. I pray for a lot of people this week driving in my car for healing. And I'm believing God that by his stripes they're healed. Amen, amen. Blessed be. Let God use us to pray and to love and to encourage and to change the lives of his people. Let your life make a difference. We thank you, Lord, for life. And with this life, help our lives to make a difference in someone else's life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for the fragrance of prayer, the aroma of prayer. We thank you that as we sit in your presence, that you're changing us. Change our hearts, oh God. Change our hearts, oh God. Change our desires to become your desires. Let our will line up with your will. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We bless you tonight. We worship you tonight. We give you praise tonight. We honor you tonight. Give you glory, Lord. King of kings and Lord of lords. Hallelujah. I tell you, when you pray, you'll just sense the spirit of peace. You'll sense the shalom of God because God is peace. God is love. So when you come into union, into fellowship with him, you can't help but to experience who he is and what he does. And that's why when we leave, we can say it's the Lord's doing Hallelujah. and it's marvelous in our eyes. We bless you, Lord. It's just good to linger. Father, we pray a special prayer tonight, even for our young people, Father God. Our young girls and our young boys, Father God. We'll say from pre-K all the way through college, Father. Cover them, keep them, strengthen them, protect them in the schools, Father God. Touch their minds tonight in Jesus' name. Draw them to you by your Holy Spirit. Help us as the older people to teach them and to train them. You told us to train them up in the ways that they should go, that when they're old, they won't depart. Lord, a lot, a lot of our kids haven't been trained and taught, but Father, put people in their paths that will teach them and train them and help them to know your ways. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. While we're in the, in the vein of prayer, I'm going to ask Minister Steph to come up. Uh, we just want to pray into this uh, upcoming election that God's perfect will will be done across this nation Amen. in the master's name of Jesus, Amen. that his truth will prevail, that his word will prevail, and that God would, uh, he would just have his way, his perfect will to be done in the earth in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you that we can come boldly to your throne of grace. And we're just standing in the gap for the election, the upcoming election, and for yes. everything. We want your will to be done for us. Your will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. We know your will is being done in heaven. Let your will come down this week as we have the elections across the nation that your will will be done, that there is no authority. I love with. Um, Romans 13 1 says how there is no authority that has not already been established by you You are the one that has put governing authorities in place So where we're looking to you the government is upon your shoulders And so we thank you father that we can come to you knowing that you are in full control That we can come to you knowing that you are the one that has put everything in place You already know who will be elected. We are uh, standing Continue to stand on your word and your truth for what your for your will to be done across the nation, Lord, and every election, a local state government, every election, local and 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 and, and 
everywhere across the nation that your will would be yes. done at the polls, Lord, and that there will be uh, no no violence, no nothing, that you, you would protect everyone that is coming in and out to go to vote, Lord, yeah. that you would put a hedge of protection, still the hand of the enemy, Lord, that let no weapon form against your people to prosper, Lord. You would bind up the hand of the enemy, anything that would come against people to come and vote, to do their due diligence, Lord, that yes. the enemy will not stop them, that you have not given us a spirit of fear, you have given us a spirit of love and a power of a sound mind. And we pray for whoever the, the elected officials are, Lord, that you have already ordained, Lord, yes. we pray for them because we are to pray for those who are in authority. Whether we like them or not, we are to pray for them. So we pray, Lord, for those that are already in office, all the way from our president on down to the local officials in towns and cities and across the nation, Lord. We pray for them. We lift them up to you and we ask you to change the heart. You are the one that is able to change the heart of the king and have those hearts to be bent towards you that you have put in place. And so we thank you and we give you the glory and the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Let's give God a praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's give God a hand of praise. Amen. Hallelujah. And Father, we pray that righteousness will prevail in Jesus' Hallelujah. name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's give God another hand of praise. Amen. Amen. Happy Saturday, everybody. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to read our prayer agenda for tonight, and then I'm going to call a few people up just to pray into it. So uh, I'm going to read it be, because it may mean different things or it may mean a different challenge to all of us. So I'm just going to, I have about four uh, prayer agendas for tonight that was just on my heart. And um, we'll pray into it, and then we'll dismiss our Facebook family until 7.55 a.m., Tomorrow morning, God bless everyone that's on. But uh, this, is, this is on my heart. Was, uh, the scripture was uh, Matthew 6.33, which was our beginning scripture for the year. It says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and everything else will be added uh, to him. And uh, one of the ways I know that God has us seeking him as a, as a body, and probably individually and corporately, is through prayer. Amen. We seek him. When we pray, we seek him. Amen. So I just believe, I know one of the, uh, I'm, I'm even being pulled to it more. I know that God is, is calling us um, as a house to really press the more into prayer. Amen. And then I have some more I'll share with us uh, later. But number one, so um, as we're coming to the end of this year, um, we're in the 11th month. The year is almost over. And a lot of things have happened. I know my life has changed this year. It's been a lot of Things that have happened just this year. Come on, somebody say this year. This year. But we have to learn how to, when things come, how to navigate, how to twist, how to turn, how to keep believing God, Amen. how to do roller coasters and splits and still land up on your feet. Amen. <laughs> Amen. So it's, it's called navigate. Somebody say navigate. Navigate. So I just want to say, uh, and, and just let this find you wherever you are. So one of the, the first prayer target I want to say is we're coming to the end of this year. Is there anything? Uh, you would have me to do. Maybe there's something God's dealing with you about, or maybe there's something that you may have put on the back burner this year, but I want you to ask yourself, is there anything, Lord, before this year is out, is there anything you would have me to do? Did I say I was going to do something and I didn't do it? Do I feel uh, pulled to do something and I'm not doing it? Uh, you know, am I slapping an area? Lord, what would you have me to do? Is there, is there an area in, in your life that God is pulling on, but you you don't want to deal with it. Or maybe he's telling you to, let's deal with this, but you don't want to deal with it. So um, is there anything you, uh, you would have me to do? Or maybe something you want me to deal with? I also put, I wrote here, is there anything you want me to release and forgive? Somebody say release. Release. And forgive. And forgive. Maybe it's a people. Maybe it's a person. Or a situation and sometimes we may think we're over certain things but then if we talk about it that means it's, if, if it's like really really in our hearts yeah. you know it's we we've, sure. we've, we've maybe went through the motion of releasing it but have we really and truly released it amen I'm talking right you know it's oh I forgive him I feel but, yeah. but you know and it's so fresh say fresh. fresh so it's like I know I should forgive as a Christian I know I should release as a Christian 
But if you're talking about it, it's so fresh, I would examine, have you really released him, her, them, or let the situation go? Yes. Amen. Amen. Because we know how to spiritualize stuff as Christians. Mm. Yes. That. But we want to make sure that at the end of the day, you want to always make sure your heart is clean and your heart is pure. David said, create, create in me, O oh God, a clean heart mm -hmm. and renew a right spirit. So wherever you are, you want to make sure that your heart is pure and that your heart is right. And even if it's still in your heart, that's okay. You take it to the, to the Lord in prayer. That's why we pray. We pray so the Lord can help us. We pray for the Lord to help us. Why do we pray so God can help us? Amen. Do that. Let me take a sip to that as I do in my uh, Sunday morning service. Maria, we pray so God can help us. Janice, we pray so God can help us. Help, help me not to lose it, help me not to have an attitude, help me to. So we have to pray and ask God. We pray for God to help us. That's good. That's what it's even. We pray, we pray, we talk to God. God help me, help me to have the right attitude. Help me to respond right. Mm. I was sharing with somebody today and he was saying he was having a challenge in his marriage and his wife, they hadn't talked. I said, look, he and I ain't married. He said, we hadn't talked in a couple of days, or, but things are a little better now, whatever. I said, look, you're the head. Mm. Say it, Pastor. Amen. I that. said, so uh, you got to put how you feel on the side. And I said, press it and meet the needs of your wife. I said, if you meet the needs of your wife, God will take care of you. That's good, Pastor. And he said, he said, yeah, he said, I need he said, I need to hear that. Yeah, it's okay. I don't, I don't mind telling you. <laughs> I'm not to tell you. Yeah. And he said, you're right. He said, because I'm, I'm, I'm emotional. And I said, well, what about me? I said, don't worry about you. I said, God called you to be the head. God has brought you through um, and gave you a miracle. You're still here. I said, the enemy wants to fight you and your wife because he has something for you to do. So okay. if you get your feelings and you stay there, I said, you got to cover your wife. I said, you're the head. That's true. And he agreed. He didn't fight it. So, you know, to get, we, you got to share wisdom. You can't know stuff and don't say. You got to open up your mouth and share. You Even if you right. sow a seed, just sow, this, sow it into their spirit. Mm. Sow truth into people. That's so good. Sow truth into people's spirits. And you shall know the truth. And what will happen? The truth free. will set you free. Right you will not you. be free unless you hear mm. and receive and do truth. God moves and honors when we flow in truth. Yes. Yeah, amen. What is truth, Pastor Mark? The truth of God's word. I don't care who on the news Period. goes against it. I don't care who on the whatever, Period. whatever office you carry, you can't go against truth. Period. That's on point. Amen. Amen. That's on point. I like what Judge Judy says. Judge Judy said, if you tell the truth, you don't have to have a good memory. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah, because what? You don't have to think, well, I told him one thing. I lied about this. Lied. You know, so if you tell the truth, you don't have to have a good memory. Amen. And the church said, Amen. You like that? I'm going to say it again. If you tell the truth, this is per Judge Judy, which is true. I watch it. If you tell the truth, you don't have to have a good memory. Wow. Amen. Amen. Let's give God a hand of praise. Amen. So I'm dealing with it. Is there anything that, is there anything you need to release? Forgive people. Say people. People. Person. Person. Or situation. Situation. Something you need to release. That was thorough. What do you say? That was thorough. That was thorough. Amen. Praise yeah. God. It could be something that happened 10, 20 years ago. And you still hold on to it. You still, I always told you what the test is. The test is if you see that person, how do you respond? Right. If you roll your eyes, suck your teeth, is I remember when he did so and so and so and so, and he had on this shirt and these pants and this. No, you you, mm -mm, you ain't releasing. She said this and he said that. And he said that. Nope, you're still in your heart. You gotta go. Be, we go before the Lord in prayer so He can help us. Help us to do what? Overcome. Somebody say overcome. Overcome. We don't stay in Christ all these years not to overcome. We don't stay in Christ all these years not to do better. We want to grow. We want to advance. We want to mature. Let's give God a hand of praise. Hallelujah. Somebody must need this, but I can't even get to number two yet. <laughs> number one again, 
as we're coming to the end of the year, is there anything you would have me to do? God, what would you, I know we're praying for stuff, but maybe your answer to prayer is hinged upon you doing something or not doing something. I'm praying, I'm praying. I ain't seeing no results. What does God, what does God require from you? What is God asking for you to do? Yeah. What is blocking you from coming into that season of answer prayer? What's coming, what's blocking you from coming into that season of blessing? Yes. Maybe a mouth is too big. Yes. <laughs> if you can't just wait. I'm just saying. Is there anything you want me to release and forgive? Is there anything or anyone you want me to release and forgive? People, person, or situation. And then I put mindset. Some of us have a negative or a poverty mindset. Say mindset. Mindset. That's good. We won't go see anything bigger than what we're doing. We won't go do nothing, anything than what we're doing. We won't go drive and look at anything. But we just stay in that same stuck rut. Yes. I'll talk you right, Pastor. Amen. Yes. Do that. Do that. Pastor, yeah. I, I can't afford. I can't. Don't tell me what you can afford. We serve a big say God. Pastor, say it. We do. We serve a big God. Do that. He's Jehovah Jireh, not El Chipo. Oh, amen. 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 Right. Say, He's my Jehovah Jireh. My he's my provider. I want you to know he's a big God. Yes. In spite of what you're going through tonight, he's a big God. In spite of what you need tonight, he's a big God. In spite of what you feel, however you feel, he's a big God. And I, I, I want to see God do big things. Every, it was in my spirit yesterday. I released it. And I felt such, something in my spirit. But uh, I just sent something good in the atmosphere on yesterday. Was, and I still sense it now. But every good and perfect gift comes from God. That's true. Amen. Be Let me tell you something. God is able to change your situation in the blink of an eye. Amen. Amen. That's real. That's the truth. Very. True that. He's able to take you from poverty into wealth in the blink of an eye. That's real. He's, he's able to take you from sickness into from this from sickness into health in the blink of an eye. True that. We serve a God of wonders. We serve a God of healing. We serve a God of deliverance. We serve a God of miracles. Mm. Amen. Amen. I, I, I know one thing that God is really pressing upon my heart for, for, for us to do as uh, uh, leaders and as a house. Do we got to press more into prayer? Mm -hmm. We got to take up our we got to take up our prayer nights. We got to take we got to take it up. We got to press into prayer. Things really happen and things really shift when you press into prayer. Amen. Yeah. Talking right past. You can have meetings and meetings and meetings so the cows come home. You better get somebody better be meeting and praying. Say it. Amen. Oh, we're gonna have this business meeting. We're gonna know we're gonna pray. Yep. Amen. Amen. Say it. Uh, we Amen. gotta pray. We gotta press into prayer. Let's give God a hand of praise. <laughs> Make uh, so so that's number one. Number one is a lot. Prayer agenda. Just see where you're at. I don't know what you need. But, I, but that mindset, that negativity, that poverty, it's very easy to pick up a poverty mindset when you're struggling in the area of finance or you don't have enough. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, sir. You want to attract, you, you, I'm telling you, we want the, the wealth of God. Yes. Yes. Blessed to be a blessing. Yep. Amen. Yep. I don't want to bless it. I don't want to be blessed just so I can have more and do more. No, I don't want all that clutter and stuff. I want to, I want to be blessed to be a blessing. Amen. Y'all, we got enough things and we got enough stuff. God wants us to us to be blessed to be a blessing all across the nation. Can we give God a hand of praise? Hallelujah. All right, that's number one. Number two prayer agenda is what uh what should I be putting my focus on? Lord, what should I be putting my focus on? As we're shifting and about less than two months into a new year, 2023 is right there at the door. What should I be putting my focus on? What should I be making the main thing? I could be doing a lot of things, but what should my main focus be? I'm going to use me for an example. One thing the Lord told me, he says, we got to put more prayer in the house of God. 
and everywhere. That's all of us. We got to put more prayer. If you hear somebody on your job that say they're sick, pray for them right on the spot. Yeah, amen. Yep. Somebody talk to you on the phone that's, that needs yep. prayer, pray for them right on the spot. Get God involved. People are not going to deny right. prayer when they're going through. You're talking right, Pastor. Yep. If they need prayer, and you can pray, and most times we can, if we're not too embarrassed, I don't care if you've got to pray for them in the grocery store, pray for them in your, if, put, get God involved. Amen. That's, That's what right. we're called to do. We don't hide our light under a bushel. The word says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify the Father which is in heaven. Why do you think God spared all of our lives? If the enemy had our way, none of us would be sitting here tonight. That's the truth. The enemy had an attack against all of our lives. But God said, no, you can't have him. You can't have her. I got. I have, I have need of them. We got to stop having pity parties and getting caught up in what we're going through in our personal lives. My for it no more. And we not pressing into all that God would have us to press into. Talking right, Pastor. Amen. Amen. You can't say amen, say ouch. Ouch. What should I be putting my focus on? What should I be making the main thing? God, what have you called me to do? Glory to God. What should I let go of once and for all? I love that, but what should, what should I be putting my focus on? What has God called to do? What has he spoken to you? What dreams did he give you? What insight did he give you? What did he show you? Don't put your focus on man and woman. Don't wait for a man or a woman to validate you. You may never get that. You better get your validation from God. You're talking right, Pastor. Amen. Amen. He's the one that called you. He chose you. He anointed you. Don't look for man to approve you. Look for God. Give God a hand of praise. Third prayer to this, help me to be all that you would have me to be and help me to do all that you would have me to do. When we pass out of this way, when we go home to the Lord, we should be emptied out. Whatever gifts, talents, and anointings are in your life, it's not for you, it's for other people. That's it. My gifts, talents, and abilities is not for me. It's for you, it's to bless you, it's to encourage you, it's to motivate you, it's to push you into your destiny. What you said something. What were you sharing? You said something about the leaders, how they couldn't move forward. Would you share that? Uh, well, about the security of a leader. Yeah, come up and say that. That's good. My, yeah. I don't have my. That's okay. Mind. Just share it off the cuff. Oh, okay. Come um, stand by me. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I have a leadership Bible, Maxwell's leadership Bible, and I was reading this morning. I was in Matthew. And one of the things that we're just saying about the threat of competition, that was this, the sidebar. And it was just basically saying how with leaders, how important it is for leaders to be emotionally and spiritually healthy. Mm. Um, That's the message right there. Say that again. Is, for leaders to be emotionally and spiritually healthy. Because if they're not, then it's going to flow. And we were just giving some instances of what happens when a leader is so insecure um they don't have their personal security so what happens is that they limit their own they limit good people that that was one of the things they limit their good people yes. and um one of the other things i can't think of it now but it, how basically it's just it limits everyone else and how followers you end up not having secure followers because you're insecure so you're insecure as a leader your followers or you know people that are under you are going to be insecure as well so it's really and they're going to be insecure not only will it be insecure if they see that gift in you and you if you ain't going it's nowhere not, it's it's squash they, they limit you yeah. they limit their good people who have the gifts and the talents and the abilities you're limited and it's like the pastor Ben has always said and you know if the head is not right then the body's gonna follow yeah you know and I kind of thought about, sorry, guys, but, um, you know, in the natural, like when you're not feeling well, like when you have a headache, you're kind of like in the natural, you can't really do what you want to do. You're, yeah. you're stifled. So how much more is it spiritually when the head is not right that, you know, that God has put in place and, and we're just like all over the place. And so that's yeah. it. And, and it's, 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 let's give yourself a hand of praise. That's good. And it flows in every I meaning. If, yes. if the head of the house yes, exactly. is jacked up, exactly. the family going to be jacked up. Exactly. The head of a corporation is jacked up. The corporation, the head of a church, leadership, ministry is 
It all stems from the head. That's why I'm a stickler and y'all hear me teaching this for you. He, Psalm 23 and 3, Lord, restore my soul. Lord, restore my soul, restore my life. If your soul's not restored, you jacked up. Totally. Yeah. Totally. Let me say it again for those in the back to hear me. If your soul is not restored, you are jacked up. Yep. Yep. I said, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Let's give God a hand of praise. <laughs> Number three, prayer target help me to, to be all that you would have me to be and help me to do all that you would have me to do. Number four, last prayer target for tonight. Uh, Lord, reveal yourself to me in a clearer, new, different, fresh way. Amen. Wow. I like that one. Let me take a drink while y'all say it again. Reveal, Lord, reveal yourself to me in a clearer way. When you have clear vision and you have a clear hearing, you're able to move. Amen. The word says, my sheep know my voice. They're not trying to figure it out. My sheep, we should know the voice of God. If you have children or you had babies, when your baby cried, you knew their voice. Yeah. You're like, oh, that's my baby. Well, how do you know? There's 10 kids in there. I know my baby's voice. Let me see what's wrong. Amen? Amen. So we should know the voice of God. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if we don't know, the, if we're not quite clear on the voice of God, whatever the voice of God says should always line up with the word of God. Amen. Amen. So number one, if God tells you, if you hear a strong desire to give someone you just had this overwhelming desire, and I just said, you just like, I don't know why. Whether it's give them a word, give them a hug, give them a, give them a hundred dollars. You're like, I don't know why. I don't know if this is God, but I just feel so strong to give you a hundred dollars. Well, number one, it's it more likely it's God. Yes. Number two, it wouldn't be you because you're selfish. I'm not saying nothing. Yeah. And number three, the devil is a robber, so he ain't gonna take to give nobody nothing. Yeah, that's the truth. That's really the trouble. Good. Mm -hmm. yes. Don't look at how the person that looks. You may say, you may say, oh, well, I ain't giving no hundred dollars past the mark. He looked like he got a nice new car this year. <laughs> Just use me for example. He looks pretty neat. He don't, you know, he look don't look too bad like he need nothing. You don't just sow and give and need. You sow up. You sow up into anointing. You sow up to where you want to be. You sow into people. You sow up. Say sow up. Sow up. The Bible says the poor, you'll have what you always. That's right. Yes. But you sow up into people's lives. People that bless you. People that minister to you. It's the same. It's the same when you're married. Y'all married folks out here. It should be nothing. It should be. There should be no limitation as to what a husband will do for his wife. Y'all not saying nothing. Amen. And what a wife will do for her husband. Amen. I can't get no good amen, so I'll take a drink. Amen. What do you mean? That means because they have your back. That's your person. That's your boo. That's amen. The, amen. It's, it's, amen. Even if you don't have what they want, you should be working on it. Yes. I've heard people, I was sharing with somebody talking about marriage this week. I've heard people that have met people when they were really young. And they really fell in love with this woman and they were like, they didn't have nothing in, but that woman motivated that man and said, you know, I'm going to get a better job. Now, I'm not saying that. I, I, just stick with me. I, I, I'm going to put that. you in the house one day. You prophesying. You prophesying somebody's future. You may meet out and you may not have what you want, but let me tell you something. If somebody has your heart and you love them with your heart, you're going to work on pleasing that person. I can't get another hand. That's what love does. A man can meet somebody and say, I, I, I really love her. If you love her, you're going to give. For God so loved the world, what did he do? He gave Amen. his only son. Amen. Love gives. I'm talking right, Pastor. Amen. True that. True that. You love somebody, you'll be finding somebody to try to spoil them. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to put this in the atmosphere. Y'all might not do it now that you're married, but you did it before you was married. Oh, speak the truth. <laughs> <laughs> They said the same thing you do to keep them, get them, it's the same thing you should do to keep them. Uh, 
Amen. 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 Y'all quiet. All right, y'all don't want to hear this. Give God a hand of praise. Number four, I'm going to go over all of them for those who came late. Then we're going to pick some people to break. Number four, reveal yourself to me. Our fourth prayer agenda for tonight, reveal yourself to me in a clearer, new, fresh, different way. A lot of us don't know that God is speaking to us or ministering to us or he's moving because we are not open or we haven't become open to God coming in different ways. We serve a big God. Do you know there's moves of God that we've yet to see? Of course. Oh, yeah. True that. True we that. just see what we used to, oh, you know, laying on our hands, falling out in spirit, prophesying. We saw a little bit. But no, he has so many ways of God. God has so many sides of him, we've yet to even see and embrace. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding, abundantly above all that you ask, think, or imagine according to the power or the faith that works in you. Say, somebody say, big God. Big God. Big God. Huge God. Huge God. Huge God. Ginormous God. Ginormous God. Help me not to look for you in old ways or old patterns. God can speak to you as you're driving down a car with a bumper sticker in front of you. I've had, I've had, I've been driving down the street and I had a truck that would be in front of me and they say fresh oil. And I say, I receive it, Lord. Fresh oil. Fresh oil. Amen. God can, he has so many ways. He can speak to you through a commercial. He can speak to you while you're watching a movie. He can speak to you while you're watching a play. He can, he can use, he can use somebody that doesn't even believe that there's a God to bless your life. Lord, reveal yourself to me in a, 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 as, as we're shifting from this year into the new, Lord, reveal yourself to me. Don't let me put you in a box. Because God has so many ways to speak. He has so many ways to reach us. Amen. I'm going to go over these four prayers to the call some people to pray and we'll be done. Number one, as you're coming to the end of this year, this year, is there anything you would have me to do? Is there something that God has you to do that you haven't done? Is there anything you want me to release and forgive? Somebody say release. Release. And forgive. And forgive. Say forgive. Forgive. And release. And release. It could be people. It could be a person. It could be a situation. He could want you to release a negative or poverty mindset. Say mindset. Mindset. The wrong mindset will block you from progressing. A doubtful mind, a negative mind, a poverty mindset will keep you from prospering because you don't believe that God wants you to prosper. You don't believe that God wants you to be healed. So why do we go to the doctor? Huh. <laughs> uh, Amen. Yep, you're talking. All right, I'm gonna mess with you up tonight. Number two, second prayer, Ginger. What? Should I be putting my focus on? What would you have me put my focus on? What should I let go of once and for all? As I said earlier, one thing that the Lord is putting on my heart and focus for this ministry is to spend more time in prayer. And that's just, that's for me, and that's for this house, and that's for you, and to, to pray. And I said, I'm going to challenge you all today. When people ask you to pray for them, pray for them on the spot. Say on the spot. On the spot. If you hear of a need, you hear someone's sick, someone needs a job, someone's hurting, someone's depressed. Don't tell them I'll pray for them. Pray for them right on the spot. What, what are you doing? When you pray for them right on the spot, you're getting God involved right away. Because yeah. you're going to forget by the time you do what you got to do and check your emails, check your phone and text your breath. You're going to forget. Pray for them. Get God right on in that situation. Blessed be. Amen. Glory to God. So they can, so once God moves in their life, you, they can say, you remember that time you prayed for me? God answered that prayer. Get God involved. You don't have to have a title to pray. The Bible says men are always to pray. That's your title right there. Hey. Men are always to pray. That, that's your sign to go pray. Amen. Amen. Men should always pray and not faint and give up. Number three, help me to be all that you would have me to be and help me to do all that you would have me to do. What is God asking from you? What does he require from you? What is he 
placed you here to do? What are you supposed to be doing? Has he given you an assignment? Has he given you a group of people? Has he given you people to minister to? Has he given you one person to stick with it and walk them through their hard trial? What is he asking of you to do? Or are we so caught up in my four no more that we're not really hearing or sensitive to what God may want us to do? Let me tell you something. If you, if you focus on someone else, God, if you take care of God's business, he'll take care of your stuff. Amen. Little witness. Very seldom do I pray for myself. I mean, I pray for myself by myself, but very seldom do y'all have me pray. I don't pray for myself corporately. I pray for you corporately. I pray for you corporately. You'll hear me say, Lord, bless me. Lord, open the door for me. Lord, make a way for me. No, I don't pray that. That's you be praying that in your private time. When I come out here, I'm anointed to pray for you. Amen. I'm releasing God's blessing upon you because the gift of God in me is not for me. It's for you. The gift that God has given all of you in here, all, all of you that are watching, the gift that God has given you is not for you. Say that. That's good. It's for somebody else. Yeah. It's for the guys on your job. It's for the guys on your job. It's, it's for the people that you come in contact with. Oh, I want to go. I want to go to Africa. I want to go here and preach. No, pre preach where you're at. Let it make you where you're at. Let it make you in Linden. Let it make you in, in Roselle. Let it make you where you are. The Bible says, "Lord, faithful over little, He'll make us Lord over much." Can you be faithful in a little? Uh, talking right. Talking right. Oh, I want to see signs. What does it mean? Can you pray for that coworker that may not believe in prayer? Yeah, that's good. Will you intercede for them? Yep. Will you right share the gospel with them? Will you love them? Let's give God a hand of praise. Yeah. All right. And number four, number three, help me to be all that you would have me to be and help me to do all that you would have me to do. And number four, reveal yourself to me in a clearer, new, different, fresh way. Have not to look just for you in, in old ways or in old patterns, but his mercies are new every morning. Amen. He's faithful. Amen. Amen. So as, as we come tonight, I have some more things I'll share with you all. But as we come tonight to pray, I, I just want us, as we come into the end of the year, I want us to just reflect. Somebody said reflect. 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 And God has kept us here. Yeah. Through things. We've been through stuff. Somebody say stuff. Stuff. A little challenging year. Yeah. But in it, God, God is getting glory. God is stretching us. He's yeah. molding us. He's shaping us. Even in the hard things, he's molding us and shaping us and making us. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to ask Pastor Mark if he would just come and just release a short prayer over whatever uh, thing that touches his heart from our prayer agenda tonight. Let's just really put our focus on him. Amen. Which one do you want? Any one you want, just from your heart. Oh. It doesn't have to be a specific one. Oh, it don't? Yeah, one of the four. Well, our, our focus, Father, in Jesus' yeah. name, boy, that's, that's, you know, I, I got hit by all of them, I'm sure everybody else is, but Father, um, what do you want me to do? Oh my goodness, um, the Word of God, of course, the, reading the Word of God is our, our foundation, and, and we want to conform our lives to that. But God has a specific plan for each and every person, Amen. whether you know it or you don't know it, whether you've received it yet or have not received it yet. It is possible. It, it, it could, you could go your whole life and not hear it and, and, and get off this earth. But God still had a plan for your life, and you will know it then. But God has a plan for all of our lives. And you say, Father, the focus and, and what you would have me us to do, I should say, Father God, that the people would be able to hear it, and when you hear it, be ready to do it. And you're going to be challenged beyond anything you could imagine when you hear with the calling of God, and you actually start doing what God says for you to do. You're going to need some strength and some faith. So, Father, I would ask that even when they hear it, that they will have faith enough to begin and act and do it, to have a yes, God, in their heart, ready to do it, whether I don't understand it, whether I believe it, whether it is, it is something I was expecting or something I was not expecting. If God, when God tells me, gives us the calling of God, what I am to do for God, it, even, not only at the end of this year, but before the end of this year or after. There are things in our character that God may want us to uh, begin to do and to cut off or to something to start. We have all experienced that. When he says, in prayer, start praying more 
and you're challenged to pray more, but you know you really ain't praying more, but you you, you got to fight through that. And so, God, what would you have me to do? It's personal. And say it with God, I need you to tell me, and I'm ready to hear however you tell me, because he may tell someone else to prophesy it to you. He may tell you may read it in the word of God and then there it is. You may already know it and you're waiting on it because it, it was spoken to you prophetically but it hasn't happened yet and you're waiting on it. God, what would you have me to do? Stay in prayer. Stay in the house of God. What would you have me to do until that thing manifests? Yes, Lord. Because no one can give you a purpose and a challenge and a joy in life like God can when you're doing his will, his Bless way. Me. So, Father, I thank you, Father God, that the people of God who really want to hear what you would have them to do, not only at the end of this year, but for the rest of their life, to hear you and to be able to do what you have called them to do, Father. If they have not heard it, Father, I pray in Jesus' name that, Father, you would reveal whatever it is to the, to the people who truly love you and trust you and want to hear it and want to do it, give it to them. So that they will know and they will be able to be able to do and begin to walk that thing out hard or easy in their minds, difficult or, or, or struggle. God, I'm going to do it. I will not give up. I will not quit. I will not be defeated. God told me, Father, I thank you that the thing that we are to do that, Father, it would be made manifest and they would be have a willing spirit and a willing heart to do that thing. Whether someone else's mouth is on you or not, you're going forward and I'm going to not fall off. I'm going to walk straight and do what God said to do. If he gave me enough favor to hear it, I should have enough faith to walk it out. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank amen. You, Blessed be. Let's give God a hand of praise. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to call forth uh, Sister Cassandra just to come and release a prayer on whatever touched her heart. And then following that, I'll ask Pastor Matt to pray, then we'll cut it off. Whichever one spoke to you, whatever one stuck out, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, we just come to you thanking you, praising your holy name. Dear Lord, we just ask that if there is anything in our heart that is not like you to remove it. Whether we need to forgive somebody or release whatever, yes, Lord. whether it be person, place, or thing, Heavenly Father, help us to get through it, Heavenly Father. Help us to get through difficult things that we have to tackle in our lives. With, all, with, with you, all things are possible. Mm. And dear Lord, we just ask that you just give us a mind, a made up mind, not to have a mind of, po of poverty, of lack, yes, Lord. Uh -huh. but a mind that we can move forward, even in the difficult times, if we're lacking in money, lacking on our jobs, whatever we're lacking in, Lord, we know that you will will supply it abundantly. You will do the overflow in our lives, whatever that is. And dear Lord, we trust you. We trust you, Heavenly Father. And dear Lord, we just um, come to you, Heavenly Father. We just pray this prayer, Lord. Have your way in our lives, Lord. And help us to be the person that you have would call us to be. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 That's a beautiful gift. God again of praise. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen.
Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this time to pray. We can always connect to you through your word, through your Holy Spirit that lives on the inside of us. We pray that you would reveal yourself to each and every one of us who is here and seeing us virtually. We pray that you would reveal yourself through your word. We would pray that you would reveal yourself through messages such as uh, Pastor Mark, through the, the, the people uh, that we see on TV. Whatever we, we do, we see signs on the road, we see movies, we read books, uh, listen to podcasts, that we have our minds stayed on you so that you can reveal yourself to us. That we, we know that it is you, Jesus, who is the great revealer yes. through your spirit. You said in your word that you have been uh, made a life-giving spirit, and that is so that you can reveal yourself through our minds and through our hearts through our whole soul, the entirety of our soul, so that we can reflect your glory, so that we can look like you. And for anyone who wishes for this to happen, for anyone who desires and hungers and thirsts after this type of righteousness, this revelation through your Holy Spirit, that you will reveal yourself. I pray that they will have an increase in hunger, an increase in thirst, yes. so that they can see you to be changed and transformed, so that other people can begin to desire, just as we desire tonight. And that is our prayer that you reveal yourself for our benefit and our transformation so that we can reflect your glory and continue to build your kingdom in Jesus mighty name. Amen. 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 Let's give God a praise. Amen. 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 Father, we just thank you for this night. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness, your mercy, and your, your grace. We thank you, Father God, for those that are watching tonight. We thank you for your anointing. We thank you for your strength. And Father God, whatever spoke to your people that are watching tonight or even in this room, Father, we say, Holy Spirit, have your way. Show us individually and corporately what you're saying to us tonight, Father God. And help us to be all that you would have us to be. We thank you, Lord, for life, for health, for strength, for our families, for our loved ones, for our jobs, for, for providing for us. We thank you, Lord, for being a good, good God to us, even in the midst of our trials, Father. And I just continue to release healing and strength to those that need healing in their physical bodies and even in their soul. And Father, we thank you for this night of prayer and stretching in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's give God a hand of praise. God bless you, faithful family. Hallelujah. See you in the morning.